In this box right here is Velotrex new range extender for their T1 series. So if you have a T1 or a T1 ST like I have, Velotrek has delivered a way to extend your mileage out of it. Now with that being said, if you have a Discover or Nomad or Packer or Go, this doesn't work for that. That is only for the T1 series. So in this video, we're gonna break it out. I'm gonna show you how to install it. I'm gonna show you how it works and exactly what it does. So let's get into it. Let's take a look and see what we have inside the box. Inside the box, it comes with your battery extender, two cables, and your owner's manual. Velotrex range extender battery only weighs 2.8 pounds and adds 4.9 amp hours of power with 176 watt hours of extra power, extending the range by approximately 45%. Other market options are typically heavier or provide less power. When it comes to these two cables, well, this first one right here connects from the battery extender to your bike, and this one right here is how you're going to charge your battery extender. It'll plug into your extender and then plug into your current T1 charger. Before we mount this to the bike, I wanna show you how this works. Now, this battery extender has to be turned on for it to charge your battery up while you're riding. Hit the power button right there. It's gonna flash up with what the indicator and the power level of this battery extender is. Right now we have three bars flashing. There's actually four indicator lights. So right now that tells me that this battery extender is between 50 to 75%. Now, if we had all four lit up, obviously that's between 75 and 100. If we have two of them lit up, well, we've got between 25 and 50. And if we only have one, well, we have up to 25% power that this can deliver. Now, when this gets below 15%, it will start flashing quickly. To turn the extender off, we're gonna hold down the power button until we see the first flash, and now it is turned off. When charging the range extender, this is where your secondary cable comes in handy. You're gonna plug it in to the extender. Right here is your cap, and then here's your charger for your bike. You're just gonna plug that in there to where they match up, and just plug it in. You can see the charger is going, and the indicator will tell you how full the battery extender is. Since this is a two amp charger and this battery extender is only 4.9 amps, that means it's only gonna take between two to three hours to charge this battery from zero to full. Now, the nice thing about the T1 series is it has multiple mounting points. They have one here and one here. As you can see, I have my Foldy Lock case right here. So we're gonna take a look at mounting it right here. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our four millimeter Allen key and we're just gonna loosen these and remove these bolts. Now we're gonna mount the cage onto this, but first we have to remove the battery extender from it and it has this little rubber piece. It's just very gummy. And then we have to undo this Velcro and it slides right out. From here, we're just gonna go ahead and attach this to the height that's gonna work out for us. There are multiple spots through here, so you can make it as high or as low as you need. I might have to take this off just so I can put my hands where they need to be. So I'm gonna pull this off real quick so I can get that out of the way. Getting that first bolt on is not the easiest because we have such short stubby bolts. I'm not sure that we're even getting in because of the length of them. I have tried for a couple minutes now to use the bolts that was inside here to tighten this up, but they're just too short. I'm going to talk to Velotrek, let them know that they need to uh, send some bolts with this. I just happen to have some longer ones. Here, I'll show you the difference on these two. For this, if you put it in the middle one down here of the big slots and then the third one of the smaller holes, well, it all works. If you decide to put your cage over here, Velotrek strongly advises that you use the bolts that came with the bike. Since the battery is in this down tube right here, if you use something that's too long, you could damage it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put this cage over here using these bolts to see if it'll work. I can confirm that if you do decide to put your extender right here, that the bolts that come with the bike are long enough to fit. But if you do decide to put it back here, you're gonna need longer bolts. Now let's go ahead and put in your range extender. Uh, let me go ahead and grab that cable. Go ahead and put your cable on the top so that way you can see how it runs down. You see how it runs down through here? All right, well, 
you could actually leave it like that and connect it. You know what, actually, that's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna have it right there. Let's go ahead and cinch it to keep that cable from coming off or moving down. Now let's go ahead and connect the rubber grommet. As you can see, it has one here, but then like two rungs right here. So we're gonna put the one in the back and that way we can adjust how tight this is. There we go. I know we've just connected it here and this isn't going anywhere. Now all we have to do is open up the flap and plug it in. Now this is not required, but I went ahead and I added a second Velcro strap because I just happened to have one. And what it does is it just keeps this cable from popping out of this little area right here and it keeps everything looking nice and tidy. Well, now we have my Foldy Lock case back on or you can put your bottle cage back on here and you would still have room to remove this or remove your bottle. So let's talk about what this battery extender is and what it isn't. What this does is it provides power to the battery to keep it charged. If this battery drains and runs out and it's totally dead, you cannot turn this on and get power and expect to go home. It doesn't work like that. But if this battery is low and you still have one bar going on here and then you turn it on, it's going to be charging this battery as you use it. Now it's a smart extender. And what I mean by that, if you're riding this bike and you're on a level land, it's not going to be working. But let's say you start heading up a hill and it's pulling more power from this battery, the main battery, it's going to start charging that battery to give you assistance. It's also not gonna up the amount of amp hours that you have with your bike. With the T1 series, the batteries are only 10 amps and this range extender is only 4.9 amps. And that's just so it can provide power to the battery. It doesn't give you any more power or any more uh, amperage when it comes to using this extender. Now I plan on taking this out on a distance test, but I can't do it right now because it's only four degrees here in Chicago with a minus 15 with the wind chill. And so we are not riding any bikes anywhere outside for now. I need for it to at least be in a couple of double digit numbers for me to take things out and test it. But there'll be another video coming where I'm gonna do that with this bike so that you can see exactly how it works like in, in action. Now currently the range extender for the T1 series sells for $399 on the Velotrek website. I'm gonna put a link down in the description. It'll take you right there if you wanna learn more about this extender. I wanna thank you for watching. And until I see you again, enjoy the ride.